Ivy cocktails, they are just a bunch of ingredients that you put in an injection and you put it in your vein, in your bloodstream. It's a direct bullseye action, so you're avoiding the oral route. Now the question is, did there are a lot of glutathione brands in the market and you label that ingredient, that one specific ingredient as a whitening ingredient, which is such a big BS. It's not. It's an antioxidant. So when you land into the concept of antioxidation, then you tend to think of this as a combination of three amino acids. So if a lot of people, they're thinking that I'm going to put it in my mouth, and this is such a wonderful formulation that this has got this ironclad coating of God knows whatever, and it's going to bypass my gastric acids and it's going to land into my intestines. And after that, it's going to go into my liver and it's going to get a second pass. And then eventually that tiny little ingredient, which was dumped into my mouth, had a chance of reaching my skin cell, do you think the bioavailability is going to be that high where that one specific ingredient can exert its antioxidation impact? No, I don't think so. I'm not saying the other routes are not being used, but do we have enough literature to support that? No, I don't. I haven't come across that literature. So the only route that we have so far with enough uh, evidence is the IV route. So being aware is important.